my Comet K 2025 aspirants. Hope you all are preparing really well. So, in today's video, we are going to solve the last, uh, I think, 10 to 11 years of previous year questions from the chapter aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids. Okay. So, let us get started with the first question here compound A to C. Okay. In the following reaction R. So, we have this one CH3C double bond OH. Okay. Then I have CH three M G B R. Okay. Then I have this minus this attacks here. This one will go here. So I will get CH three C O M G B R. Okay. Then I have H and then I have CH three. Then we have when you treat it with water, this one will get converted to OH. Okay. So I will get here OH. Next, you give H2SO4 and heating, in that there will be dehydration. We will have CH3, CH double bond CH2. And after that, if I do hydroboration oxidation, what will happen? Anti Markovnikov rule will happen CH3, CH2, CH2, OH. So the question here is A and C, right? So this is A and this is C. So A and C are what? These are positional isomers. So, option number B is the correct answer. Next, which of the following orders is not correct for the decreasing order of acidic character? Not correct, you have to find out. Okay. So, we have here CH3, CH2, CH, Cl is present here. Uh, then Cl is present at the farther here. Then we have Cl present at the last carbon and there is no CH. This is a correct order. Next, iodine is there, bromine is there, then chlorine and fluorine. This order should be reversed. Like fluorine is more acidic because of electron withdrawing nature. So, that is why option number B is the correct answer. Next, which one of the following orders of acidic strength is correct? So, obviously, first acidic acid, then we have water, then alcohols, and then ethyne. So, option number C here. Next, CH3, uh, CHO with dilute NaOH. So, this is, uh, if you remember, this is aldol condensation. So, what I will have? H, C double bond OH and then I have CH3, C double bond OH. Okay. Now, here what will happen? If you remember the product, you have to connect this one. You will, CH2 you will do, you will do OH here, right? And then we will remove one. Right now, after that, since if you remember, there is a double bond formation, so here one H will go, and here there will be a double bond formation will take place. So, this is your A. Okay, so now what I have got here in A, so I will write like this CH2 double bond CH C double bond OH. Right now, if you treat it with HCN, there will be cyanohydrin, so I will have CH2 double bond C C. H, then I have OH and then I have CN. Okay. Next, if I do hydrolysis, what will happen? If I do hydrolysis, then here it will be COOH. Okay. So, the correct answer here will be option number A. Next, find the product of the given reaction. So, here we have benzene ring. Okay. Benzene ring, then I have CH3 then I have C double bond O and here you remember if you have NH2 and I have an ethyl, ethyl group. So, here H2O will go and we will have a compound like this that is C double bond CH3 and then I have N and I have CH2 and CH3. Okay. So, the correct reason here will be option number B. Okay. Next, we have to differentiate between pentane 2 ONE and pentane 3 ONE. A test is carried out. Which of the following is the correct answer? If you have pentane 2 ONE, okay, and I have pentane 3 ONE, okay. So, you remember here I have this CH3CO group, right? That can be, uh, that will give positive iodoform test. So, that is option number B here, okay. Next, let us see the next question here. What are the correct steps to convert the acetaldehyde to acetone? So, now you see if you have acetaldehyde to acetone, you are just increasing one carbon, right? Here I am adding two carbons, so that may not be the answer. We will see the second one. If I oxidize acetaldehyde, then I will get what? Acid. Now, if you react it with carbon 
uh, calcium hydroxide then it will get a salt formation will uh, take place so i will get ch3 c double bond o uh, uh, then just write like this double bond o then i have ca and i have ch3 c double bond o o and then ca now here what will happen there will be a loss of acetone from this molecule okay so that is why option number b is the correct answer next which will not undergo hvz reaction so for hvz reaction we need alpha hydrogen so here i have an alpha hydrogen here also i have alpha hydrogen 2 2 dimethyl propanoic acid so i have here 2 2 dimethyl propanoic acid so this is not having any alpha hydrogen so this one will not undergo hvz reaction so option number c next the reagent with which both acetaldehyde and acetone will react so tollens reagent ketone will not react fellings reaction again ketone will not react skiffs also same but with grignard reagent both of them will react so option number d Next, which one of the following esters cannot undergo Claisen self condensation? So, for Claisen self condensation, also we need alpha hydrogen. Okay. So, here there is an alpha hydrogen, here there is an alpha hydrogen, here there is alpha hydrogen, here there is no alpha hydrogen. So, that is why option number B here. Let us see the next question here. What is Q in the following sequence of reactions? So, you have first 4 methyl acetophenone. Okay. So, you have here 4 methyl acetophenone okay 4 methyl acetophenone then uh, we are treating it with KMnO4 KOH so that is an oxidizing agent so that will oxidize both of this okay so we will get here COO minus K plus and here I will get COO minus and K plus okay after that if I do hydrolysis then this both will get converted to acid right so i will get a compound like this i will have cooh and cooh so this is called as your ter terephthalic acid or option number b next felling solution is not reduced by so we know benz aromatic aldehydes do not give felling solution so option number c Next, the oxidation of toluene to benzaldehyde by chromyl chloride. So, this is a name reaction, etard reaction, option number B. Next, glacial acetic acid is obtained by. So, glacial acetic acid is nothing but solid acetic acid. Okay, that is called as glacial acetic acid and it is obtained by distilling the vinegar. Okay, option number D. Next, we have Clemenson reduction of a ketone is carried out in the presence of which of the following? Clemenson reduction, we have ZnHgn HCl, so that is option number B. Direct name reaction question, order of reactivity of phenyl magnesium bromide with the following compounds. So, you have a Grignard reagent and we know that aldehydes are more reactive than ketones. So, definitely one will be more reactive. Then here this both are ketone. The one which is less sterically hindered will be more reactive. So, two is more sterically uh, less sterically hindered. Here you can see two pH groups are present. So, the order of the reaction will be one. Uh, 1, 2 and 3 that is option number D. Next, Benedict solution. Benedict solution contains CuSO4, sodium uh, citrate and sodium carbonate. So, option number B here. Okay. Next, benzoic acid with barium hydroxide gives you. So, it is like a decarboxylating agent. Okay. Barium hydroxide also behaves as a dehydrating agent. Sorry, not dehydrating, decarboxylation. It also carries out decarboxylation so if benzoic acid is there and you decarboxylate it you will get benzene right so i have benzoic acid here and if i use barium hydroxide which is a decarboxylating agent you will get benzene okay next ester and acetamide are distinguished by so now see ester is there we can represent it like this esters and uh, acetamide so we have something like this uh, acetamide is um, just a minute, yeah sorry okay so acetamide is ch3 co nh2 right this is acetamide this is ester now when you treat it with or when you uh, grignard reagent right when you treat it with grignard reagent 
uh, both will react so we cannot use that to distinguish it. Now derivatives of fatty acids. So if you treat it with derivative of fatty acid what will happen? Now see here derivative of fa fatty acid means anything like this. Okay. So here a new ester or an anhydride is formed. Okay. So we will get a compound like this or let me just write down this as R double dash. So I will get R C double bond O O C double bond O R double dash. Okay. And similarly if I have this one is with uh, with this amide if I treat it with fatty acid or derivative of fatty acid then what I will get same C H 3 C double bond O you have O uh, then C double bond O R double dash. Okay. Now here what will happen? This is there and this is there and with this we will also produce ammonia. Okay. Now this ammonia okay, is having some pungent smell by which we can find the difference between the two. Now similarly when you hydrolyze okay, you will get acid and ester here and you will get acid and ammonia here. Again due to the presence of ammonia we will find a pungent smell. So that is why both I can use uh, B and C. So option number D is the correct answer. Next which of the following is a saturated fatty acid? So I have given you the structure here. Lauric acid is a saturated means there is no double bond. Option number C. Next which reagent would bring about the following transformation? So acid to alcohol you know lithium aluminum hydride will, a, will be a reducing agent to convert this one. Next a ketone gives a yellow precipitate when treated with I2 in alkaline solution thus the ketone is. So we know methyl ketones are uh, give you a positive iodoform test. So if you have anything like this CH3 C double bond OR okay, and then you treat it with I2 and NaOH this can be written as NaOI as well. So bond will break here this one will get converted to iodoform okay, plus this one will convert to salt okay. So that is a yellow precipitate which is formed here okay. Now we will go to the next question that is consider the acidic strength of the carboxylic acid. So always remember if any group is present at the ortho position its acidity will be more that is due to ortho effect. So please remember that is due to ortho effect. So ortho position here 2 is there so 2 will be maximum so I have this option and this option I can eliminate this one. Next after that you know para group will have more so after 2 it will be 3 then I have meta and then here this one so option number C is the correct answer. Next which of the following is the correct sequence of relative acidic strength. So fluorine, chlorine, bromine is obviously the correct option because of higher electronegativity. Here fluorine is at the end, here fluorine is at the end and here fluorine is at the between. So these options are wrong that is why. Next among 2 chloropropanoic acid, 3 chloropropanoic acid, 2 2 dichloroacetic acid and propanoic acid the K A values will be in the order of. Okay. So first of all propanoic acid does not have any electron withdrawing group so that has to be least right. So where propanoic acid is at the least okay this option is not having propanoic acid so option number D I can eliminate. Next I have 2 di 2 chlorine atoms are present here so that will be more acidic so this one can be there this one can be there this I can eliminate. Next 2 chloro propanoic acid and 3 chloropropanoic acid. So you know chlorine is closer here. So here the effect will be more. So that is why option number we will have A here. Okay. Next a, re a reaction between a carbonyl compound and a Grignard reagent is termed as. So if you have any carbonyl compound okay, uh, and you are reacting it with Grignard reagent. Okay. So this one will react here, this one will re react here right R minus is attacking here. So that is why this is called as nucleophilic addition reaction so option number A. Next ethanol is treated with a primary alcohol in presence of HCl gas the reaction is known as. So when you treat any carbonyl compound like for example CH3 C double bond OH ethanol is reacted with a primary alcohol group okay. Uh, for example. Uh, I can have like this something RCH2OH okay. So what will happen this one will attack here this one will move here. 
so you will get a compound like this ch3 ch okay then you have o ch2 r and then you have oh again if you react then again this one will be removed so this is called as your acetal formation or option number b next ch3 cn with na c2 h5 oh then hno2 and then copper at 573 so this is a reducing agent so i will get ch3 ch2 nh2 right this is a then with nitrous acid what i will get ch3 ch2 oh okay then with copper at 573 kelvin i will get ch3 coh okay so ethanol will be the product that is option number b here next which of the following will not undergo hvz reaction again for hvz reaction we need the presence of alpha hydrogen acetic acid has propanoic acid has two methyl propanoic formic acid does not have so option number b next acetone and acetaldehyde are acetone acetone sorry acetone and acetaldehyde so if you remember here i have three carbon here i have two carbon their formulas are only not same so these are not isomers option number b next acetone is prepared by dry uh, distillation of so we have uh, discussed this one it is obtained by dry distillation of calcium acetate okay next we have benzoin is so you can see here this is the structure of benzoin okay and it is a uh, first of all you can see it is a ketone group so it is alpha group alpha hydroxy ketone group okay so that is the option number d here the product c in the following sequence of chemical reaction is so first of all here i will get a compound like this ch3 c double bond o okay i have c a o c double bond o ch3 okay then when i heat it i will get here first of all the product is ether acetone okay now when you treat it with nh2oh here h2o will go okay then i will have ch3 c ch3 double bond noh okay so this is called as acetoxyne or option number d here okay next moving to question number 34 which of the following statements is not true acetic acid is stronger than chloroacetic acid that is not true right chloroacetic acid is stronger than acetic acid so this is incorrect so option number a next which of the following does not undergo aldol condensation so for aldol condensation also we need alpha hydrogen here i have alpha hydrogen here i have alpha hydrogen here no alpha hydrogen so option number c this one will undergo canizaro reaction next benzaldehyde on reaction with lilh4 so if you have benzaldehyde right and if you treat it with lithium aluminum hydride this one will get give you converted to alcohol group right so i will get ch to oh that is your benzyl alcohol option number c next acetophenon is obtained by the dry distillation of we have already discussed it is calcium acetate next rochelle salt Ro rochelle salt is sodium potassium tartrate that is option number d used in felling solution which one of the following has no action on felling solution so if you remember um, aromatic aldehydes do not give positive felling test so benzaldehyde will not react so option number d next question number 40 burette reagent contains so burette test is used for the uh, test of proteins amino acids it contains an alkaline solution of copper sulfate so option number d here okay so yes students these were the top 40 questions from last 11 years and i hope you have prepared it well any doubt you can put down in the comment section and all the best for your comet examination thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe the channel